We are hitting the road for this week's edition of Talkback Feedback. We've had so many complaints about roundabouts that we wanted to show our Talkback callers just how easy roundabouts can be. Welcome to Talkback Feedback. Seems there's a new roundabout in northeastern and central Pennsylvania, which means there's a whole new level of angst among our Talkback 16 callers. What is an intersection with a circle in it doing down in it, the water gap. That's an intersection with a circle. Tear the damn thing out. Now here's where talkback feedback really earns its keep. You see, because of the unique configuration of our building here at WNEP, we can simulate a PennDOT roundabout without ever leaving the premises. You see, I get to this point. Now, here I have a choice. I can either go right towards sports or left towards the hallway. And then they have the roundabout. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. People who sent their kids to school for five, six years to be these engineers, what the heck are they teaching them? You see, roundabouts are all about choices. You see, I come here and I have a choice. I can go left towards engineering or right toward production. And it doesn't matter if I make the wrong choice because then I just go around again. PennDOT's going to try and figure out what's wrong with it. I can tell them what's wrong with it. They're stupid. The dumbest thing I ever saw. That's what's wrong with it. The most important thing, in roundabouts shouldn't be scary. Just have confidence. You literally cannot get lost in a roundabout. About the um, roundabout down in Delaware Water Gap that's uh, getting all smashed up. It's another fine example of what all the letters in PennDOT stand for. Pitiful engineering, never, never done on time. I'm so afraid right now. I think I should have gone left at accounting. You too can call Talkback 16 at 1-800-228-WNEP and maybe next week we'll give you a little feedback. Do you know, okay?